today I am going to show you how to tie a butcher's knot. So I'm not making some weird dish with some neck of pork and some beans. These are what we're going to practice on. Now, a lot of my subscribers, they leave comments. They say, can you show me that knot? You know, I have so many people asking me how to do it. Uh, I've done it a couple of times in my videos, you know, people have slowed it down, they've got the gist, but everybody keeps saying, please do it, you know, a video dedicated to it, and this is what I'm going to do. Now, I've seen loads of videos on YouTube tying knots, and no one ties knots like this. You know, they all do that, they get a little bit of string, they like wrap it round, and they give it all that malarkey. Well, this knot was taught to me by a 72-year-old guy when I first started in the trade. Uh, I've been in the trade 27 years now on and off and I'm 42 and I learnt this off one of the best. So that's enough of the jiving, I'm going to show you how to tie the knot. So I'm going to set the camera up, bring it in closer and we'll get cracking. So normally then you would tie this pork up that way but for the purpose of this I'm going to tie it that way to show you the knot. So what you do is you get your string under your meat, whatever you're tying up. So you've got your two pieces, you've got your end, which you hold in your left hand, and in your right hand, so in between your finger and your thumb, you're just holding them, and you loop it over your thumb to make a hole, and that is that. You just pull it as tight as you want, and that will go really tight. So we show you that again, get some more string. I mean, I've watched loads of videos, like I said, on tying, and they just like tie it up like a parcel, which is no good. This is a proper, proper butcher's knot. So, left hand, in the right hand, you've got your string, so you just hold the two together between the thumb and the finger, you loop, just throw it over, and you've got your hole, straight down the hole, and you can pull that as tight as you want. And that's going nowhere. That really is a seriously strong knot. And I'll show you how much you can, tension you can put on it in a minute. And it's not hard work to put the tension on because it's all, well basically it's a slip knot. And you're putting all the tension on like that. You know, you haven't got to be hard, just slam it down and that's that. So let's show you on this can. There's our can of beans then, so pretend that's the joint. So in the left hand we got the end. We're holding the two, throw it over, so your thumb makes a loop, through, and this is where you can give it some welly now. I'll show you. You know, it's not hard, I'm not straining myself. And that, as you can see, is going nowhere. Let's tie another. So, you can see that, so hard to get it on the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to do a version slowed down and that is that. Simple. Right, let me show you in slow-mo. Right, going all technical with the aerial view so you can see. Again, under the joint, left hand, between thumb and finger, loop it over the thumb till you make a loop and down through it, put it on the joint, pull it tight, make a loop just to tie it off and that's that. So I shall slow this down now, so enjoy some cheesy music while we watch this in slow-mo.
I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, the reason we tie this, you know, is to keep the joint uniform so it all cooks evenly. You know, and this knot, trust me, go online, you know, on YouTube, have a look, and you won't find anybody doing knots like that. I found one guy out of thousands who was near enough, you know, spot on, but that is the knot you need. I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, just leave me comments, or, you know, go on Twitter, talk to me anytime at well at Scott Reed Project. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.